We're joined now by extremism expert Dr Josh Ruse. Josh, good morning and thanks for coming on at such short notice. What, what's the significance of the police commissioner making that decision at 1.35 this morning to declare this a terrorist act? Yeah, by designating it as a terrorist act um, immediately, they've allowed themselves the, the resources uh, to, to really explore this thoroughly, to look into, uh, which will activate a, a, an array of wider powers as well, to look into the extent to which this was an individual acting alone, uh, to which there may have been links to others, and, and basically to explore this in, in full. Mm, so what happens now with that investigation? They've set up the, the strike force, uh, Petrina. Uh, they've also set up another strike force to deal with what happened outside of the church. If you're stepping back and taking a, a broader look at what's gone on in the last 12, 18 hours, what, what do we make of it all? Well, events are obviously unfolding rapidly uh, with obvious um, concerns, not only about the attack itself, but the impact in the wider community. Um, they will be attempting to get their head around how to manage both of those. What we know is that it was a 15 year old boy. So it's important that not only the sens relevant sensitivities around that are taken into account um, with, with that being a minor, but also um, there will be a thorough investigation of, I would imagine, uh, his electronic devices, his potential links, whether or not he has any um, any connection to others who may have incited or encouraged him to participate in this. Uh, we don't know anything at this point, so it's really difficult to speculate about what's caused it. We know that um, it does match the profile of some international uh, recent events. There was a plot, for example, to attack churches um, in the US uh, over the last couple of, couple of weeks. It was uncovered. But we just don't know. Mm. And, and to that extent, uh, we do rely on the um, police to be transparent and to feed that information through when they can. Yeah, and look, the police and the Premier making such a determined call for calm and for people not to be responding to innuendo or rumour on social media in particular. You talk about mm. these uh, possible threats over the last few weeks. What's the climate been like here in Australia? What what are the the experts like yourself, what have you been seeing or hearing? We know that um, ASIO did um, recently give a threat assessment where they've said, it, I think, I believe it was likely, uh, sorry, not, uh, sorry, not uh, lower than likely, it was um, it was a moderate sort of level of threat um, and they've wound that back over time. But what, what we do know is that the online environment at the moment, particularly in the context of um, the Israel-Palestine conflict, uh, but also in the context of um, the increased atmosphere, like the heightened atmosphere that we're seeing on um, platforms like X and Twitter, but also others, really has created a quite fertile environment for uh, individuals in particular who are angry, who are looking to act out, um, to to target, uh, to be inspired and to go and target someone. Um, the, the fact that it was labelled so quickly um, is important because it then enables us to attempt to understand this um, through a particular lens. But really at the moment, um, it's important that political leadership really comes to the fore. We've seen that this morning with a with a strong statement from the um, from the uh, the premier, but it's important that across the spectrum, including the media, that we understand that this was a 15 year old boy potentially acting alone and that we, we don't raise that temperature until we know more. Yeah, uh, good words. Dr Josh Ruse from Deakin University, extremism expert. Thank you for joining us at short notice. Thanks for your time. Okay.